Hello everyone, welcome. Let's take a look at some of the differences between Samsung's flagship TVs for this year. And the only two flagship TVs they have this year is their QN900C and their S95C QD OLED TV. The, the QN900C is a mini LED TV. It has a lot of features and I know people would question, do I need to spend more money, slightly more money to get a QN900C or should I just stick to getting the brand new S95C because these two TVs um, look similar in terms of the, the design if you look at it but they have some differences uh, that you need to know before you step out and purchase any one of those two TVs. If you're someone that likes a very, very slim TV, if you like a TV that is very tiny to to to, to move around, uh, set up easily without anybody helping you, you might easily go for the S95C. That TV is crazy thin. The, the QN900C is still thin, but it's not as thin as the S95C. Um, and another thing here you have to look at now is, is resolution. If you're someone that needs 8K resolution, you will have to get the QN900C. And not just only that, there are so many other benefits to 8K. Because of the upscaling engine that the QN900C has, it makes it a lot better for you to use it in general for any kind of content. The engine in it, the, the 8K uh, processor in it is fantastic. It will do a wonderful job. In terms of pricing, if you want to buy the QN900C right now, it is going for $5,000 and that's just for the 60 five inch model uh, if you want something larger you'll pay six thousand three hundred dollars for a 75 inch model and around around roughly around eight thousand dollars for the 85 inch model it's more or less going to be your choice do you want to spend um, a little bit more money just to buy yourself a, a, a a qn900c or do you want to save a little bit of money to buy the s95c because that s95c currently goes for two thousand five hundred dollars for the 55 inch um it, the 65 inch model goes for three thousand three hundred dollars then finally the 77 inches goes for uh four thousand five hundred dollars this price makes a lot of sense for people that do not want to spend a lot of money but want to get close to as the best picture quality that they can get their hands on and it's very important for a lot of people because people want the best picture that they can pay for they don't they just do not want to pay money and not get uh the best picture that they can uh like get for that price range uh the other thing here is design i think design if you're someone that looks at design you will um you will more or less favor the s95c it because of the fact it's slimmer both tvs come with one connect box uh, and you could easily either slot slot the one connect box at the back of the tv stand or you can tuck it away separately in a nearby cabinet it's just your option it depends on what you want uh th there are hdmi uh connections at the at the, at the back of, of the one connect box so it's easy to use that depending on what you want it to be for you um in, in your setup there are four HDMI 2.1 ports uh, on on bo on both TVs. You're you're gonna have support for ERC. You're also gonna have USB, RF, optical, and Ethernet inputs on both TVs. Uh, there, there is not much difference in terms of port connections on both TVs. Uh, if I'm being honest, the only thing there is that uh, the the QN900C is a bezel-free design uh, and it's not it's not like the s95 c uh the the, the the s95 c is a very slim uh just very slim flat tv that 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 is very easy to move around it's very very tiny but then again if you're someone that needs a very good sound system that comes with the tv directly out of the box you will easily go for the qn 900 c at it as it's coming with a massive 6.2.4 channel uh, sound system that is massive make no mistake about it, that's massive uh, if you look at the s95c that only comes with a 4.2.2 channel sound system it's uh, it's definitely something you have to 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 look at if you're someone that need contrast 
a lot of contrast your tv you want the best contrast possible get the s95c it has a better contrast than the qn900c the qn900c is the brightest tv you can buy if you need brightness that tv is ridiculously bright um it even gets almost to 2500 nits of brightness the max that the s95c can hit on some peak brightness is around 1500 nits and that's not uh, on the level of the QN900C. So if you're someone that needs brightness output, you just get your hands on the QN900C. Uh, if you need contrast, go for the S95C. It's going to deliver that better. And then if you if you like your at least your, your, your engine in the TV to do better upscaling, I think the QN900C will do that a lot better simply because it has 8K resolution. It has a better upscaling engine that, than the S95C. So overall, you have to just look at these options. Um, look, it, it, it's more or less down to your budget because if you look at the 55-inch model for the QN900C, it's going for a massive uh, $5,000. The, even the 65-inch is $6,300. And the, the 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 larger the size, the more money you end up paying. So you will question: if You will you need this? Will you really need this? It, and if you if you really know you're not going to need it, then you have to get something within your budget. I'm going to drop details for these two TVs. Check them uh, and subscribe to the channel. Like our content. I'll see you guys very much next time.